Welcome back, everybody, to the BGCR podcast, the main podcast. I hope you guys tuned into our first music podcast that we released like a couple of days ago. It's me and Steven, and we'll have guests on from time to time. Anyway, let's move forward. So a lot of things have been going on in the world. And before we get into those many things that have, that have been happening in the world, uh, let's discuss that uh, there's only three of us today. Uh, our producer's out um, eating Golden Corral. I don't know if that's what he <laughs> Um Matt is MIA completely. We have no fucking idea where Matt's at. Um, I hope he's okay. Hope, hope you're okay, Matt. Hope you're watching this. You know, you're still alive. You're watching this. Oh, you know, that's a good In the thing future. Fucking... <laughs> In the future. Future, Matt. I hope you're okay and watching this and you tell us why you didn't show up to the podcast. But... Nevertheless, we have to continue for you guys and, well, for us, because we really, we're all, all of us are busy doing our own things, and this is how we connect. And you guys get to see what we're connecting on, and it's usually a bunch of spooky shit that we like to talk about. There's a problem. I'm, my heart's broken. My heart's fucking broken. This fucking Elon Musk and... Zuckerberg might not happen after all. After that fucking tweet, dude. Did you guys see that? I saw that. Yep. Well, what do you guys think about it? What do you make of it? I mean, I forgot who's uh who's accusing who of not being serious, but it's 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 Zucker Zuckerberg accusing uh Elon Musk that Musk that he's never like cemented when it's gonna happen. Even which is strange because the dude like a couple weeks ago said that he was gonna live stream it on X. So I knew I he didn't have it in him. You think so? He can't beat the Zuck, bro. He's scared. He's scared. You think he's scared? His timbers have been shimbered. <laughs> His oh my timbers god. Have been shimmered. <laughs> or shivered. And it- and just so that everybody knows, if you're new to the podcast and you want to know who's who, Ethan is right there. He's one of our mainstays, and he plays a lot of uh, the gaming side of our podcast. And we have Team Dilin here, <laughs> our own resident Team Tim Dillon, Dillon, the fucking Mexican version of Tim Dillon, if you guys know who yep. Tim Dillon is. If you don't, <laughs> check him out. Great ranter. Um, so, moving on. Uh it's it's a sad shame that it it looks like it's not going to happen. We were talking about live streaming it when it happened. Uh, I think Dana White was backing it, and I don't know who else. There was like a bunch of contributors for uh, fundraisers, um, and it just looks like it's not going to happen anymore. Womp, fucking womp. The celebrity team death match, no celebrity death match, not team death match. That's WWE. Um, it's not going to death match pipe dream is just a pipe it's dream. Gone. It's just, it's turned into a real pipe dream. Now, unless Elon Musk gets some fucking balls and we'll see this thing happen. If not, I guess we'll just move on with our lives. We're calling you out, Musk. <laughs> Fulfill what you said you were going to do. Come on, man. Anyway, uh, Ethan is quite quiet today. Because he's still freaked out from his time. But is he? I don't think he is. Over the weekend, if you guys aren't familiar with Ghost Adventures, Ghost Adventures is a show uh, where they go ghost hunting. And the show's fucking wild. Me and Ethan and uh, Michael. Michael's not here, but we've been fans of the show for quite some time. I want to say yeah, maybe it, maybe a little after... Uh, the show started, the show aired because um, we saw the pilot too. Mm-hmm. Uh, when and the, and just the documentary. Started. And the doc- well, the documentary is the pilot, mm-hmm. right? Or is Bobby, Bobby Mackey's? Mackey's? Bobby Mackey's Bob is the, the pilot, pilot, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, that's that's Steven's favorite, the Bobby Mackey uh, episode. Creepy. If you guys haven't seen that episode of Ghost Adventures, go back. Yeah, it's episode one, right? Yeah, yeah. it is episode one. I dude, I still want to see the live stream that they did at Bobby Mackey's. They returned? they went back. They, yeah, they, they go. They they've gone back to Bobby Mackey's like a few times though. I haven't seen the live stream though. Place is weird. Yeah, we should we should check it out. Um. So anyway. Go back and watch that episode. I know I, we're going on a little bit of tangent, but it all plays together. Uh, trying to understand who Zach Bagans is. Zach Bagans is pretty much the creator of Ghost Adventures, and he is a per, he is at the forefront of paranormal activity or or anything paranormal, pretty much. And he so happens here in Las Vegas, where we're at, he has a museum, and in this museum, uh. There is various artifacts which are super, super, super duper spooky. Uh, and when I spoops spoopies, and when I say that, I'm referring to the real Megan doll. Was there? It's not there anymore, uh-uh. right? Ethan? Uh, the real. If you guys don't know, and if you've seen, not Megan. It's not Megan. It's it's uh Annabelle. Annabelle. Yeah, the Annabelle doll. Um. Uh, <laughs> Megan, it's that stupid, stupid that robot movie, movie or whatever. <laughs> yeah, the stupid robot movie. Um, yeah, Annabelle. So if you haven't seen Annabelle, it's pretty much a doll that's possessed by. There's a there's a specific uh, demon that's that's possessing this doll, right, Ethan? If I'm not yeah. mistaken. Yeah. I don't Pacific want to know name. I, sir, you know better not to say its <laughs> damn name. <laughs> Well, what what letter does it start with? How about I that? don't remember. I just know it's one that is, it got attached to Annabelle for I think it was like a little kid. Like all I know is yeah. the story is the parents had a kid and they the kid died and the dad thought that bringing back the kid through the doll would work, but it wasn't a kid and it ended up being a fucking. Kid. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Um. So. So anyway, that doll was sitting in his museum for a long time. Uh, what's that other one that you talked about, Ethan? Bill, Bob, what was it? Shit. He didn't you, have you it there, shit. though. It wasn't there? No. I forgot, but it was like one of those but, old, old dolls. Yeah, that, like, like an old doll. Mm-hmm. That, and pretty like much it has like simple every... features. Like, yeah. does it look? Yeah, oh, okay. I think I know which one. So... Needs to say, every artifact in here was possessed either by a demon or some kind of, uh, yeah, you know, ghost or or apparition or whatever. <clears throat> and are they always like evil, malicious ghosts or spirits that are that uh, overtake these items or dolls in the museum, Ethan? Um, from what I remember from the tour most of them are evil spirits or demonic entities that take care or take control of these items but a lot mm-hmm. of them are well yeah evil people because like he has a lot of artifacts where like from from like serial killers and stuff like that like he has ted bundy's fucking glasses there which is freaking crazy um and then uh his name is dr something he it was a doctor that would do a medical like suicide, he will help people commit suicide basically, but like in the medication oh, side. Yes, he has his oh, van. Oh, Kevorkian. He has okay. his van uh, yep. inside the damn museum. No, that's it's van. crazy. With I don't like he, 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 he would lure people in the van. I don't understand. No, like, I don't think he no, did he it didn't like lure. that. It was no. like an actual medical like practice. It was just very controversial. Oh, mm-hmm. oh I see. It's I see, like I see. people with terminally ill diseases, like mm-hmm. that, are choosing to die. Bring the mic kind closer. Of, oh, I'm sorry. It's uh people with like terminally ill like diseases that are literally choosing to sign their life away and yeah. just because they can't really they can't so take what, it. Yeah. So what he would do is he wouldn't do the administration of the the poison or anything like that. What he would do is he set everything up and he will give him the button to control it. So he would basically give him the power. Hey, I'm not gonna do it. You do it. You decide to Assisted. do it. Yeah. And he said that one of the scariest ones or more, one of the most traumatic situations was when a person administered the poison. But then, like, uh-huh. as it was being administered, it was, like, a couple, like, five seconds in, he had the eyes of, I have regret. And then, but 
it was too late. Yep. Yeah. There's like, a song. Like, oh, uh, my death. Oh crap. It. I'm, I'm going to die. Ugh, yep. Dude, that's, that's crazy. So that's yeah, one that was thing. A big that's controversy. Gonna... That's one so thing. I... Go ahead. No, no, I was just going to outline for our mm-hmm. audience that, you know, that's pretty much what Zach Bagan's uh, museum is. If you're not familiar with it, uh, if you're watching a spooky podcast like ours, I'm pretty sure you, you know, who probably Zach been Bagans there. Is. Or, and then yeah. other artifacts he's had there. It's crazy. He even has like, um, uh, what's his name's, uh, the actor. He died in the movie called the crow. He has the actual Jack. Oh, uh, 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 Bruce Lee's son. Yes. Uh, but yeah. what's his name? Brandon Lee. Brandon, Brandon Lee. Yeah. yeah. So he has his jacket there, the one he got shot in. No, you're kidding, dude. Yep. What? Yep. He has that. And he how has. Do you, how do you even come by that? I don't know. And then now, well, he's had oh, it for a while. But one thing he has is uh, Michael Jackson's chair where his doctor sat, where he administered all his like medication when he passed away. He has dude, a chair there. What? That's crazy. <laughs> That dude for sure sold it. He's like, oh, yeah. You want to buy this? Oh, yeah. He died right here. <laughs> the last yeah. thing he said was, ee hee And then I just <laughs> sold it. So I gave him the last of the good, good anesthesia. No, but yeah, dude. it's a lot of stuff like that. And Okay. I can go. I won't. I don't want. I don't want to say the whole. Hey, experience. man. We have. We have. <clears throat> Like forty minutes. Go for it. All right. You so have the floor. You have two things yeah. you can do at the Zach Bagans. You can do the general mission or the, what he calls RIP, which is like his VIP pass. Um, the VIP, you get to go into different parts of the museum that normal that normal guests can go to. One of the most significant ones is the basement. Um, down the basement, the previous owners used to do satanic uh, worship, like worshiping. They used to kill people down there. What in that same building? Yeah, so you go down there, and the pentagram's still down there. Like you step, you go around it, dude. Like, and do you then, get holy water walking in, or no. is it just like? Oh god! The craziest part is he has a spirit box down there, and when I was down there with my Nina, because that's who I went with, or sorry for, for you, our godmother. non-speaking, yeah, our godmother for, for our non-speaking, yes, uh, or so non-Spanish I'm speaking for now. Um. So I went with my godmother and we walked through it and she was like, what is that? Like it was, she was even freaked out because you go down there and it's like a tight hallway, maybe this big and you're going through it. And then you get to the what end would you of say, it. Like, like two feet, three feet, four feet, about three, four feet of like, oh, really? like okay. that you walk through, it's all dark. And then you get to the main part of the basement and you see the pentagram and then you see like artifacts he's found down there from the satanic worshiping and then mm-hmm. he has a spirit box down there and it's going like that you know it's just non-stop with yeah. the tours so okay. i'm we're anybody that's not there. familiar with the with the with the a spirit box it just runs through frequencies right mm-hmm. and the ghost runs can manipulate through, manipulate the the frequencies manipulate the airwaves oh. to, to talk mm-hmm. okay just so you guys know the craziest part is as we're walking out i can still hear the spirit box going and it's kind of the basement you go down the stairs you have a little hallway, then go like this, then go like that, and it's a long ass hallway to get to like where the pentagrams at. We're going, we're leaving the longest hallway. Of course, me being the last person for some reason. Why are you the last person? I don't know. So I'm. Everyone's leaving, and I'm walking, and in the spirit box, all I hear is "get out." Oh, and hell. everyone heard the everyone heard the spirit go, go out, but I'm the only one that actually heard it, like what it said. So they're like, what did it say? And I'm just like, just go. Just d- don't listen. Just stop. Don't stop. Just go. Just go. Don't just go. keep going. Go, go. It said, hurry up. Keep going. Yeah. <laughs> so hurry up, boy. It, throughout the whole, I mean, you're going to, if you're going to do it, just, you're going to feel weird. You're going to feel like kind of like, I guess I would say like tightness in your chest as you're walking through at certain parts, especially if you do the RIP. One of the first things you do is you go into a small room, maybe like, I would say like a quarter of the, a quarter of my room, size of my room. It's all dolls, but the dolls are staring at you. And there's dolls. Nope. I don't remember the names, but there's. Wait, like wait, these... I, I, I don't want to like, uh-huh. you know, put a complete halt to what you're saying. But doesn't that it, one of them has like a really bad phobia of dolls, right? Is it Zach? No, Zach. Has a, he's, he has a phobia of clowns, which is funny because he has a clown part of the museum. I guess John Wayne, something of John Wayne Gacy is in there for sure, right? Oh, yeah, there is. Oh, I'll, I'll let you talk about that right now. <laughs> but go ahead, go ahead. I think it's Aaron that 
that has I think uh, so something about you know phobia about yeah. like, dolls but go ahead I'll continue so you're walking through there you it's this little like room and you see the doll stare at you and then my godmother just goes I think that one just moved I heard that I'm like it's no dude uh uh-uh. uh and she doesn't play around like that she's not the one to be like oh like if she sees something she'll say it. like she speaks her mind a lot so like she said I think that one just moved its head and there's one like in a glass case too and now you just feel weird in that room and then you kind of leave and you get to this like like another satanic room <laughs> he has a lot of mm-hmm. satanic things in his house but in the mansion wait 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 in his house he stays there well no he stays no, a I lot don't. though he's no i know he way stays. dude i wouldn't fucking stay there um that's that's like the beginning part of it the only thing i did not like is you go into this little oh, room. you actually didn't like something no yeah this part Wait, i didn't like you didn't you didn't like something as in it was too spooky or like too scary or you well, didn't like two because things. there's one thing that's not to your liking one thing that was spooky in one part made me feel very uncomfortable Oh, okay. So the first That's one was worse. we walked into this room and it, there was these two caskets in there. Real bones of people, by the way, in this, these caskets. You're, you're kidding. Real fucking yeah. real bones? Yes. So we're in there. The time, I forgot the story because like I was just staring at the damn these skeletons. I was like, oh, shit. Okay. Because oh, you were scared. Yeah. Were yeah. Scared. And then they're like, okay, right. for the RIP we get, thing. We all get scared. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I got scared a lot of times in that damn place. So <laughs> then we get... There's, in that room, the tour guide was like, okay, for the RAPs, there's this little door right here um, that you get to crawl through. And I'm like, crawl through? What the fuck? Crawl? Yeah. And like you're forced tunnels. to do it or you, you, you It's choose. optional, right? What would you say, Steven? Secret tunnels. <laughs> secret well, tunnel. <laughs> he, Zach had built the secret tunnel for the ghost for as a like a walkway. Oh, like, like for them like to. Like Winchester House. Yeah, but it's yeah. fucking pitched dark i'm saying dark to the point where you have your family you can't see it so nice and you wanted someone to crawl through there we all did and i didn't want to because i'm a big dude right you crawled through there yes you. i've crawled I cra- hold on ethan benjamin were let crawl through there yes so no my plumbers cracking so all my, my grandmother <laughs> my godmother was in front of me and she's like let's do it i'm like f i don't want to do it so but you, wa- but, I, but i i can't upset my godmother <laughs> So we, I can't let my godmother know yeah. that I ain't no bitch. So <laughs> I, we walked through, and I'm telling you, dude, like at a certain point, I thought I was gonna get stuck. That's how call, that's how small it is. Like midway through there. Yeah, because there's a point where Are it, you, were you were you fucking were you freaking I was, out? I was like, sweating oh, my oh, ass my off, dude. I was like, oh I my god, god. You're so fast. <laughs> and then um and. It was so dark, and the 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 tour guide ended up flashing a light because like you could, I didn't know where it effing ended. It felt like it was just a long ass effing thing, hey, you, dude. Dude, you probably felt like it was you were in there for months. <laughs> yes, no, and then the the part oh. where I got it got really tight was like this corner. It turns like this, so, and it's like I was uh-huh. like I was like shimming and like this. And I'm telling you right now, anybody you should have you should have hit the wall. Hey, what? <laughs> it's not funny anymore. Hey, uh, do any of you ghosts have some butter? <laughs> <laughs> and some I'm telling you, some. I'm telling you right now, anybody that's taller than five eleven, you'll get stuck in there. What? Okay, well, I don't fit in there then. <laughs> so I don't I think even there. I would. I wouldn't want to go in tall. there. To no. be honest with you, it, I, I, have I have never experienced claustrophobia in my whole life until that. Ugh. Until that moment. Yes, I think I was getting to a point where my. I was gonna, I was like, what shit? Mm-mm. Wait, so you're saying if I try, I wouldn't fit because I'm six one? Yes, it's t- it's like I'm saying like it's to the point where like I would think you're talking about that that like the the turn right the, the no the I'm saying turn the, whole thing. the oh you'd be on fours if you're gonna do it, Sergio. or crawling. Yeah, crawling. Even the, oh hell no. So we're getting uh. out of that right, and then. We get to the best part is we go into so this be- best part as in it is the best part or you be sarcastic. Um, I I didn't like it because it was I, I'll explain why. So we get to the point where um 
Zach has this like circus area he has, and there's a freak show in there. It's an actual dude in there. He does a freak show for yeah. like a one like thirty second freak show. Where he gets his drill with the drill bit, and he sticks in his nose, and he drills it all the way back. But then that's his. Oh, there's act. a real dude in there, or is that yeah. a video? That's a real dude. What? Yeah. <laughs> so we do like that. A- like those, uh, what were they called? Those the carnies? Yeah, like the carny. The freak show. That's what they call it. Yeah. Oh, dude. <laughs> Was that the theme? Like a like a like yeah. a carny circus. circus? Yeah. Kind of thing? Okay. So when he's doing it, three things happened to me. When he was doing, there was this one specific clown doll that was in the back. I just got the weirdest feeling. Like I felt like it was like staring at me, and I was like, just, I caught myself staring at it. Like I couldn't stop staring at it for some reason. At, at, okay. And it was All behind right. him too, and um. But then that happened, and then to the right of him, the RAPs get into this little room where, in an episode of Ghost Adventures, quarantine when the team does the investigation of the the um the haunted museum, uh yeah, it's a part where Aaron goes into this like little room which you get to see, and he gets attacked, and you go into the room and there's an e- there's an EMF reader in there. And I can, and it was zero, okay? It was zero. And then we walked for there. Anybody, what? anybody that doesn't know what an EMF reader is for our audience, you want to explain what it is? It's an electro magnetic, magnetic, field. magnetic field. So it reads, uh, you know, because the the ghosts they um they're pretty much they manipulate the uh, the electronic devices in the area, mm-hmm. or they so they say when it spikes, there's mm-hmm. there's a uh, there's a ghost or spirit or possibly a demon mm-hmm. in that area when it spikes, and especially when it holds the spike, right? Yes. So okay. level five, not good. <laughs> level five, no, no. So first nope. of all, I there's they said there's this little square, like maybe yay big. You peek mm-hmm. your head through it, and before I did that, the tour guide said we just had a group before you, and they saw someone like doing crisscross applesauce in there but it's a black shadow and i was like oh great i'm gonna stick my head in there so oh god i'm sticking the emf reader the whole time is zero i was in front of it i was like next to it i wasn't you know moving it around my body wasn't doing anything to it i first put my head in through there my godmother has this bright bright idea of scaring me at the same time so she goes oh my god dude so she goes no she goes oh i jump my head hits the top of the damn thing and went, <laughs> Like that as loud as I could. <laughs> she couldn't stop laughing. Shit. So then Did I, you break anything? No, 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 no. I just I just hurt my head. But okay. um So not so not much. Yeah, but then she <laughs> <laughs> so go, go she ahead. walks away and I finally put my head through it. And I'm looking at the EMF, it's still zero. And then I look to my right and like I can see there's a pillar. And I can see half of a body with like a black shadow just oh. standing there. And I'm like, okay. I started like doing the whole blinking Uh-oh. your eye shit and it's still there. And then like I poke my head. Oh, like you're trying to. Yeah. Is, are my eyes playing tricks on me? <laughs> yeah. So then I take my head out. <laughs> I take my head out. I put it back in and it's gone. But as I'm putting my head back in, it's still zero Dude, in the EMF what's reader. crazy? What's huh. crazy? I don't mean to interrupt you, but what's crazy is that for the people that just listening. Just hearing what you're saying right now is I know it's pretty uh, pornhub.com ish. Yeah, is. I don't mean to interrupt you, but I'm going to interrupt you. <laughs> Hold on, I'm going to let you, you but, finish. Uh, I'm going to let you finish, but I got something <laughs> stupid to say. <laughs> Go for it. So as I keep looking at the EMF, nothing's happening, and I look up at that corner where I see it. Nothing's there. I look down, and the EMF is at static at a four. Oh. Yeah. So it, I have a question because you know we play demonologist and <laughs> phasmophobia. Uh, these EMF readers that they had—is um, it the same concept? Like it goes up to five, or level five is the mm-hmm. worst. Is there a oh, cockroach? Like, it level five just means <laughs> no. It, it, level bug. five is mean, level five just means it's giving off a lot of energy. That's really what a it is. a lot of energy. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that level same, five, it's playing with your nipples, pretty much. Yeah, it's it's, it's supposed all, to be oh, yeah. nipples and going like this. Oh yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it, Ethan. I'm so, sorry. So the same spot. I'm sorry. The worst part. I hated this effing part. It was a scary maze of clowns. So 
<laughs> Stupid. <laughs> That's how I felt. This damn maze. To survive. Survive, Ethan. Survive. So we're going to this maze and there's people jumping at you like a Horror Nights type of thing. Oh, my God. Dude, if it's not bad enough that there's already real spooky stuff in there, now they have manufactured spooky stuff in there. Okay. So I'm walking through this hallway of a line of clowns staring at you mm -hmm. this way. And I think the creepiest part is these are mannequins. They're not people on their own this, at this point. But the right. clown faces are like this, and you can, for some reason, like feel heat coming off of these damn heat. Yeah, like the, off the faces. And I was like, oh, no, no, no. I get to the fourth effing clown, and I didn't know I had a speaker. And I didn't know I had a center. And I was the <laughs> first one. I was the first one out of everyone that walked through it. I'm telling you this. I have never. I probably screamed as loud as I did for I have, the Yoohoo thing. I I'm, have ah! one question. I have one question. Uh -huh. Why the hell were you the last one in that scary tunnel thing and now you're the first one to go through the Look, clowns i don't know if these guys are gonna watch this video or listen but there's these two dudes They're that are with us with this no listen there's these two dudes that like maybe younger than me they're with their girlfriends and they're acting mm -hmm. all macho all the time but it came to this part they're like oh no you go no 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 you can go first, oh. you go first. that's how it always goes dude yeah the dude just macho give it up ever. at the beginning bro mm -hmm. just be like, hey, yeah, just no. like you know what i'm scared you go i'm fucking scared dude yeah and i i was like, scared protect me so then i told my my god i'm like oh fuck look, it i'll go first look i'll be 100 percent with you i had the opportunity to go ethan asked me to fucking go yeah but guess what i Hell did not go no because Hell i am scared no. number one i am scared of that shit i've already experienced real life things not having to go to a museum number two I have a daughter, and I don't want that shit coming back with yeah, me. Yeah, did you go to church? But I digress. No, he, probably, okay. he did not. Look at shit's moving behind you. I would have spent the night in one. Um, dude, me too. Me too. Easy. I would have been like, hey, dude. And that, look, I'm gonna, honestly, that's kind of scary sometimes. I'd be like, look, Padre, I'm going to sleep here. Can you just douse me in the best holy water that you just fresh batch that you just made? Can I go oh, take dude. a bath in 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 a? Do you have a bathtub back there? Just let me bathe I'll, in it. <laughs> I'll, I'll sleep in the bathtub the rest yeah. of the night. I'm sleeping in where they baptize the babies, dude. I'm sleeping yeah, there yeah. for the yeah. <laughs> that little pool. But if Stephen gets up from the little pool, it's gonna be like black. They're gonna be like, oh, the, the Antichrist. Nah. <laughs> I'm not demonic. But, I just like but, demonic but, music. But but in reality, it's not it's not demonic. He just never takes a shower. That's what. It is. Yeah, dude. Like once a month. <laughs> Once a month, maybe twice. If I'm feeling right. fancy. All right, so you're going the clown thing. We kind of scares the crap out of Scares ahead. the crap of course out of me. I, what kind of noise did it make? I'm curious. Okay, I'll give you an example. Steven, do you remember when we were playing um, Demonologist and that thing came out of nowhere and it did the loud effing scream at us? It was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That yes. type of scream, like that. But like, I'm saying, like, flu blown. Like the, the speaker was at, like yeah, terrifying scream. Like full blown speaker was at a hundred percent volume and stuff like that. So I get scared, and to the point where I I don't shriek. I'm like ah, like I'm I scream so damn loud, and all I do I look to my left and my godmother is just mm -hmm. laughing her butt off. What happened? That is messed up. That she she's laughing at you. I started laughing after. I was like, oh my god, and then so here's the worst part, right? We leave this clown place. And my adrenaline is all up because I just got scared. Then hold that door. <laughs> oh my god! Hey, hey, remember I said I have a little girl, everybody, on the BGCR podcast. Oh my this god! Is her. This is Olivia, aka Oe. Hi, Olivia. Hi, Oe. Dude, that scared me. That was creepy, <laughs> dude. <laughs> She I, just I, opens the door. When you were talking, dude, when you were talking, all I saw right here in this quadrant of my shit, it just opened. I was like, what the f <laughs> No. When I saw no. that, when I saw that, I was like, all right, let's stop talking about this. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 go ahead. Continue. So the worst part is when you're done with that hallway and you get scared like out of your mind, um, you go into the next room with the du the dubic or dubak box or do whatever it's called that that the that dibic? the dibic box the oh Jewish, the dibic box. Uh, demonic box yeah, the, yeah mm -hmm. the, yes okay there was a movie about that too mm -hmm. yeah okay. so what I'm telling you is I've 
I, this is my second time going, and this is my second time seeing the box. Every single time I've seen it, you just you don't feel good. You just don't. The, the Divic box? Yeah, you just don't. Like, it's not like where well, I'm going to throw up, but it just you just feel this really bad energy around so, you. Do, do any of you know the story Sick. behind the Divic box? Yes, they explain it um, on the. Yeah. Do you remember the story? So you could yeah, explain for maybe the people. That, so. Uh, Go ahead, Ethan. The divot box started back in the World War II by a, a, a Jewish lady during the Holocaust, obviously. And there's actually more than there's more than one divot box. There's I'm six of them. That. There's six of them, and he has two of them. There's six. Yes, and he has two. Yes. What the hell? So he has a smaller like, one. No it's, pun intended. He has a he has a smaller one. Uh, it's it kind of looks like a, a trunk of a tree, and like it has like um. Like it's it's very small. I'm saying like this big. Yeah. The dubit box is like huge. It looks like a like a for jewelry or something like that. But the other, I believe the other four has still not been found at all. <clears throat> and of course, you know Zach, he's trying to find the other four. Um, Worse. Um, but it started with the lady during 19. 19- oh, oh oh wait a minute. Maybe we could send this to Zach. Let me share something with you guys real quick. What's up? There. There you go. Go. It should be there. You see that? What the hell? Someone's probably just yeah, well, like, someone's, off of it. someone's no, selling but, one on eBay. Oh I, my god! I, there's like, all kinds of stuff you can I, buy on I eBay. I heard. I heard, or like, I had read somewhere or seen um, that like a Divic box. There's not only one Divic box. Mm-hmm. Like it's it's just kind yeah. of a a thing like it's like a wine I, cabinet type of deal i don't know yeah. it's weird but it's like that i don't know how stuff. else to explain it it could be used to store i guess evil things in there that mm-hmm. are that's what it's known for but it's it's literally like that yeah or it it might look a little different like hey um, look it might have some demon butt cheeks on the back you see the one you've seen was it kind of like this bird like symbol the yep. old symbol or something mm-hmm. yeah see like there's different ones it's just i don't know what about it is where it it's able so to this store. person's in florida i mean you're already paying 7200 dollars for it you would think they would just chip Do it for, for free. free but um i don't know <clears> but <throat> the one you're talking about was from um a holocaust someone from the, in the holocaust right mm-hmm. and i think it was on it was before the holocaust kicked off and stuff like that mm-hmm. um it was on the night of crystal knock i think that's when like people the uh, germans of that party started rioting and uh going like around jewish businesses and all that and like mm-hmm. breaking like the imp- windows and implanting these uh, these boxes is that what you're saying no but like the 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 demon was like casted into that box or whatever, mm-hmm. or brought out on that night. Mm-hmm. That night that you know that party went around like damaging everything and right, what have you. So it's a it's a pretty like evil night, I guess. Us, you know, it's called. You like, guys the, know what that specific night, night, night is? Yeah, Crystal Knock, the night of uh, broken glass in English. Or I could be wrong. It might be something slightly different, but it's called Crystal Knock. If only Matt was here, he can tell if it's true or not. <clears throat> or that yeah, it's, it's 100% true. He, he might not, not even know it. I'm saying like the translation. Or if it's, Crystal that's Knock. when that happened. It well, is... Crystal Nacht is, uh, is German. Mm. It took place November 9th and 10th. All right, well, if anything crazy happens that day, then we know. So, um, and continue it, then you were explaining with the Dibu Bucks. I think... Uh, um, yeah, Matt. Uh, Matt. <laughs> Steven kind of got the gist Steven. of it, of, especially when it, when it got started and when they created the boxes and then um every almost every owner that's had it before two other owners and so it's, Zach. Ro- it's rooted it's rooted within like anti uh, anti-semitism pretty much right yeah yeah okay. um two of the owners have passed away after opening the box like like a day after like just recently they no, bought no, no, it no, no. and they died it was a while ago but there's been oh, okay. after those two people it's been Two other owners and then Zach. And then the other two owners didn't want anymore because one of them had it and ended up getting like cancer. 
right after owning it Ooh. for some reason Ooh. like it happened out of nowhere and then okay. the other person nothing happened to him but he just didn't want it anymore because all the history behind it so zach bought it and now it's in here right. but the craziest part is maybe you can look up a photo of it because i bet it's all over the place when it's yep. at the museum it's the box then it's covered by one box and then another and it's then each like each those two boxes are clear and they're they have like jewish lettering on it they're basically like prayers to keep the evil inside oh, of it to keep it contained. yeah yeah and then when you're there um and you can see it you're supposed to give something to the box so it doesn't follow you whatever is there oh so because okay. you if you look at the corner it just piles and piles of stuff that can be like you know a wristband a coin or whatever and you just got to get something basically yeah there it is so my ears feel so heavy huh my ears feel heavy that was weird uh, uh-oh <laughs> so i got it i don't hey, know hey, that was hey, weird you know you know what dude the bgcr ghost needs to bother somebody michael's not here <laughs> michael's not here so so that's the that's the first box you see that's so covering the, this it. is the box right this yeah is the box well go back okay. to the other photos so i'll we'll second explain what i meant so the first box is that clear one right there that's covering it and then recently yeah. he just added this ginormous thing surrounding it uh-huh. or like uh-huh. it's practically the whole room one mm-hmm. of the stories that they did say is if you can see it, or post malone and him were in that room um i think there's a picture of it yeah and zach had this bright idea of um opening the, the big box when he was oh, yeah. there look here look here yeah, he Here's like the ran picture. out yeah man. zach yeah, zach got picture, right? zach got all like weird and he looked and, and post malone said that he looked afraid so he kind of got zach out of the mood and he, he told him let's leave then they were outside and all this was actually said on joe rogan's podcast um from okay. post malone post malone said that he, they were outside they were staring at each other for like 30 minutes they didn't know what the hell happened but post malone mm-hmm. said that he saw a black figure standing above zach after a while above him not behind him but above like him. A, behind him but like a kind of above and behind in like, a way like like towering over him yeah. kind of thing okay and um but after that after that experience post malone dealt with a lot of stuff like he had a break into his house he his plane almost crashed and killed everyone in his plane like a lot of stuff happened to him after that what? Zach opened that box up with him there i think the the um the episode just came out just recently on on uh yeah joe rogan's podcast with post Malone. So yeah i talked about it in there mm-hmm. okay so that Ooh. that one's creepy and then there's another doll that he has in there called maggie uh when you enter this room you're supposed to greet maggie and say hi maggie look at maggie leave and say bye maggie so kind of like a ouija board you say hello Mm -hmm. bye okay then Uh, uh, he also has which this part would kind of freaked me out it didn't feel right um in one of his exhibits he has the um is it this one right here yes that one right yep no that's robert the no no that one the one above This one? Thank you. Uh, no, that's Robert. I can't. All of that. Cursor. Oh, this one. Click it. Yes. That? Yep. Peggy, not Wait, Maggie. Wait, so. Oh, Peggy. It's yes. Peggy. You got her name wrong? And not, oh, not you're museum. You're in trouble. Not at the museum. Ooh. Oh, so, not at the museum. Bye, no. Peggy. Bye, Peggy. Let's <laughs> just say it now, dude. <laughs> Um, if you can hear us, I'll, I'll goodbye. Tell I love you. But people, you people has, he, they, they said that people that have gone to the museum, and of course, people are going to be dumb and not think it's real, or try to antagonize the doll and say, "Don't say hi or bye," or say, "Oh, this is not real. This is in front of Peggy." Those same people go home the next day, and they end up in the hospital. Oh, or did, just because just because they don't say bye, right? Well, they antagonize Peggy, and then a lot did of it, people. Did anyone do that? No, not at, not the group we were in. But a lot there's a lot of countless of nosebleeds after you see her, like right after, like you see her and they start bleeding, your nose starts bleeding. What do they call this? The cocaine ghost? What the fuck? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but um, and then good. the last thing we saw was you guys remember? I don't know if you saw it, Steven, but I know Sardo did. Was Zach had bought this house called the 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 Demon's House, De- the Devil's House, or Demon's House? It was a documentary that they did and it was like it wasn't i don't remember what state it was but he knocked down the house eventually he didn't want it anymore but he kept the staircase and he has it in the museum 
Wow. And, uh, and he has the original dirt that's in the basement where they found devil worshiping items, bones of people that were sacrificed, and they're in there, obviously. So, dude, like this guy just wants a death wish. Yeah. I mean, I know we we we've seen that you know the show for a long time, and we know that he's a provocateur of the ghost, and he's just doesn't care. He'll say anything just mm-hmm. to get a rise out of the ghost. You have to but have a guy, real strong mind. No, you do. Yeah, super like, insane, super strong willed, like yeah. super strong willed. You have to to own something like this, and you know, be around so many, um, you know, possessed artifacts. And oh, dude, that's just that's just something else. And go ahead, Ethan. So yeah. that's pretty surprising. To the end of it. There's a lot of other stuff I don't want to say because I feel like I'm just gonna ruin for other people but that's like the meat spoiler. of it spoiler spoiler well just spoiler yeah. here that was the meat <laughs> of it the other crazy part is when you go into the um his gift shop there's these specific items that he has for sale for one he has a ghost box you can buy for like 80 dollars i think oh yeah sure let's fucking <laughs> 80 do it man. bucks what's funny is i have one already so i really didn't need it um oh my god what <laughs> why what a spirit box yeah you know this or don't oh spirit box yes okay I thought like oh. I, my mind was thinking of something I like else. A my ghost mind in a box, yeah, yeah. For eighty bucks. <laughs> a, like, I thought a, no, yeah, I thought a box just a gamble. Like, fuck it, oh, eighty like, bucks. Hey. Fuck it, no. We'll start my own. We'll just start my own fucking museum in my garage. Let's do it. Like yeah, Sergio, that was yeah. like six f bombs within like the first three sentences you just did or no. Hey man, I'm scared right Market. now, man. Okay, this dude, <laughs> this dude's talking about his shoulder being weird and his hair just flicked right now you guys even notice it his hair just flicked on its own right now you Ooh. see the hair in- yours oh that's just it's billowing in the wind i hope so of my fans because- but yeah so you go into the gift shop Ugh. you see the spirit box and then he sells holy water and the best one of all he sells ouija boards don't tell me you bought one, no, dude. no 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 Okay. I'm not that dumb. I know. I know not to that specifically. No. But you know, some dumb <laughs> kids Jonathan are buying would. that. They're like, oh, let's just get this, dude. Mm-hmm. Let's Jonathan let's continue it at home. Like... Oh, dude. Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. You know, Jonathan. Sells Ouija boards. Mm-hmm. Really? So Ouija boards. It's a little surprise, and I'm gonna do it. Um. Oh. What? I'm gonna feature all the evidence I get on the podcast. Uh. I don't know when right I'm going to do it. No, no, no. no. Oh. I, I'm going to when I do do it. Uh, oh. I don't know when I'm going to do it, womp, though. Womp, womp. Sorry, guys. To be continued on the stuff he got from the place. No, I didn't blue get ball. anything. No, no, no. This is like a future we just thing got, I'm going to do. Got, we, we got blue balls. No. I, I didn't. <laughs> well, when you're hosting, when you're hosting, is that what you're saying? I don't know because I don't know when I'm going to do it. So let me explain. Okay. From now to the end of the year, he's doing uh, a night investigation flashlight tour. And you can Dude. take your own equipment. <laughs> Dude. You can and take your own what? You can take your equi- equipment. equipment. Like you can bring in tape recorders hey, and stuff hey, like that. Hey. That's what I'm saying. I'll take. No. Uh-uh. No, no, no. So whatever <laughs> I'll go, if anyone Get wants some. to go with me, I don't know. I highly doubt I'll probably go end up going by myself. <laughs> so when I go... I'm going to take my own tape recorder, my own EMF, and the spirit box. You're going to do this by yourself. Are you a madman? No, you're with other 20 people, but you can roam around the, the place no, by no, yourself. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I'm saying Let's with a buddy. Just, I don't. Like, that, someone you know. That's what I'm saying. I'm trying to see if someone, trying to find someone to go with me. My homie well, Junior would do. Would well, coincidentally, do someone may potentially be moving to Vegas. Yeah. So. You know, you, I'm not going. <laughs> <laughs> Like yeah, but not, I'm not going no on no damn ghost hunt. <laughs> I ain't afraid of no ghosts, but I am. <laughs> but I am. So obviously, I want to get evidence and feature it on the podcast. See whatever I get when I go, dude. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Yep. But okay. But you didn't get anything this time around. You went. No, I mean, I got that. I got the T-shirt that comes with the RAP thing. That's it. All right, cool. We can show you to the podcast. Well, I'm not gonna turn out. Why would I buy a spirit box? I went box? to Zach Baggins Museum and all I got was this t shirt. <laughs> this t shirt says, I survived. <laughs> I survived. Survived. That's, I mean, it, it's pretty wild, you know, the, the, um, 
the little stories you had within it and the, the things you experienced. So for a short period of time, like I mentioned to everybody, uh, Annabelle was there, right? She was there for a little bit, mm -hmm. not very long. And she was even in an episode at the Haunted Museum there. <laughs> so anybody... Fuck. I'm sorry. <laughs> so this is Annabelle. Anybody curious what the real doll looks like? Anybody that grew up in the 80s or 90s, you are familiar with this doll. This is Raggedy Ann or Raggedy. Yeah, Raggedy, yeah, Raggedy Ann. Ann, right? Yeah. And um, Raggedy. And Raggedy. Um, and uh, as it is, that stupid doll scared the crap out of me as a child. And now, dolls. dude, and yeah. now, now it's, it's connected to, you know, a demon somehow. Anyway, that's not familiar with it. If you're watching this podcast, you are, it's, it's highly likely you like paranormal stuff and, you know, horror, and you already know about this. But if you don't, there it is. That's what Annabelle really looks like. Just just wanted to show show you. And the All doll right, we were talking about off. earlier, and the doll we were talking about earlier um, was Robert the doll. Uh -huh. And that one is crazy. Yep. Crazy. And we'll talk about Robert the doll in, um, in the next episode when we get everybody back. And the one I saw was Peggy. <laughs> Yeah, and the one you saw was Peggy. It was is she is has she been there for a long time? Yeah, or she just she's even, she's in a glass case like Annabelle. Oh, okay. Yeah. Ooh, a anybody like kind of creeped out right now? Just a little bit, you know, just a little bit. I'm sweating little, under little my boots. Uh, right just now. I don't know. <laughs> if when I look at when I looked at those pictures too long, it's just like yeah, it gives you a weird kind of like heavy sound on my ears. It's weird. Did you I, say, that's probably oh, just I, me thinking about I, it. But I think I messed up. I said that your shoulder was acting weird. It was your ears, right? It said you said your ears were like heavy. Yeah, it's like when you're talking about the Dybbuk box. Oh, dude. I don't know. And, that's and, probably just me overthinking it. And no, what, nothing. Was, was that the only things that happened at this wacky museum? <laughs> oh, and then no, yeah. The, the last thing that happened to me was when we did the clown thing. At a certain point, I smelled like carnival popcorn for some reason, and I thought, "Oh, it's a scent that they have for the museum, whatever, right?" Yeah, yeah, like Let, they have an air freshener, yeah, and behold, carnival popcorn. Yeah, and lo and behold, I turn around I'm like, "Hey, dude, get it, your local Walmart." Yeah, and lo and behold, I asked everyone, "Hey, did you guys smell popcorn?" Every single person said no. Oh, cool. Yeah. I'm like, oh, <laughs> I'm like, okay, great. Why am so I? Did you get some ghost though? popcorn or what? No, I got ghost scared though. God, with that damn museum. Did you any ghost cotton candy? Like, no. Nah. You're the only one. So you your, capitalized. So this is the second time you've been there, right, Ethan? Yeah. Okay. And was it different that they add, like, switch things out? Hmm. Yes yeah. and no. They some things were different, um, like small little things, like new items. But the difference is each. I think each tour guide kind of says stories differently. Like I learned more this time than I did the first time. Oh, I see. Yeah. I see. Okay. So what yeah, you're saying is the last guy you were with, he was a fucking idiot. No, it was just very simple <laughs> like, oh, storylines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This the, is the uh, first time she was very shit. the the the, re the restrooms over there. Yeah, the the first yeah. lady I had very simple with the story like storylines and stories. The second lady, she was very in debt with everything. She was like super in depth about it. Yeah, was she talking in the YouTube voice. <laughs> no, actually, the monotone voice. How about the, the first the... one, like in a dumb YouTube voice. Like, <laughs> the monotone the voice. And there's a the restrooms. And here we are. It's right here. Here we the doll. are. Well, and then we're going to move forward. And then, oh, here's another doll. Like, dude. <laughs> one picture I forgot to take a picture of was Joe Rogan was there recently. And there's a picture of him and Zach together. He just, I think he showed up last year in December. Really? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. I think we're going to have to. Did he like Nut just cases. do the tour or did he do like yeah, some? Yeah, well, they all do tours. And then what's his, what's his face from Corn was there too. I sent the picture on the chat. That I believe. Jonathan Davis is crazy. Yeah. Of course he would be there. Of course Jonathan Davis was there. Of course. I believe that 100%.
Where are we at? We are at. Okay, we're in a good spot. Uh, I think Videos. it's safe to say we could get into our segment. Videos. Oh, shit. I almost knocked over my coffee. Um, video, <laughs> video segment time. Video show. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, that was. Thank you, Ethan, for all of that. Spoopy. Super, super cool. All right. Let's jump into our videos that we compiled uh, through the week that we wanted to share with everybody. This week, um, we knew it was going to be a little spooky because Ethan was going to talk about his experience at the Zach Bagans Museum. Um, what's the official name of the museum? Is it Zach, Zach Bagans, Bagans Haunted museum? museum? There you go. Zach Bagans Haunted Museum. Uh, in downtown get a Las of, Vegas. <laughs> downtown Las Vegas. Come on down. Get your own possession at the price of $80. Huh? $80. Ooh, $80. For the, $80. For the RIP. $80 possession. You, you got can do as cheap as $40 the for the general admission. All right. You get a lesser, dumber ghost for $40. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, so these are the vi- vi- uh, the videos we com- uh, compiled amongst the three of us. Because, well, the other dudes aren't here. So it's just us. My um, little ha- lighthearted. Yeah, uh, we knew that we were going to share some lighthearted videos because, uh, well, well, it, we knew that because of Ethan's spooky shit uh, that we were going to talk about. Oh, we're trying to no, I know you see it. Yes, I've seen those that video the the the, Dude, the pale thing. That's the first video. That's the first video. Oh, that, when, I first saw it, when I first saw it on TikTok, it creeped me okay. out. Okay, okay, okay. Little context what? for everybody: if you're off the internet or you're just lost. Sounds like Steven's lost a little bit, but so this has been popping up all over Instagram. This isn't the only video. If I could, no. if I could find them again, I'll, I'll share them on the next episode, but this is one of them. There's one, this is the one on the, the subway. There's one where it's walking in the subway. I think there's another one where it's in the restaurant in a restaurant. I'm sorry. Um, no one knows if this is prosthetics or if this is a real fucking alien. But oh, check it out! Check I think it out! I know. Yeah. Oh no, I never seen this one. What the hell? Oh, we don't need the music, really. We could just talk over it. Um, I don't know. It could be real. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's some so, damn she, good movie makeup. It's gra- yeah, I mean, here, okay, check it out. If anybody knows anything about prosthetics and shit like that, it looks like a skull cap. She's mm-hmm. got. Uh, it looks like this. It looks like it's a kind of person moves weird though with long hair because in the back it's it's very much uh, bulgy. It looks like a skull cap. Yeah, it's very bulgy in the back. Anybody that's just listening, it's a video of this little person, child, possibly dressed up as an alien, or it it is in fact an alien. Uh, if this is the first footage of aliens walking amongst us, pretty wild, pretty wild. If it's yeah. not, it's good makeup. And, you know, this alien should come out in the next uh, alien movie. Whatever it is. <laughs> if it's a real you alien, you're, you're beautiful. Don't kill us. <laughs> <laughs> Don't kill us. What do you guys say? Very think? beautiful. <laughs> I feel like it was an actual alien. There would be more of an uproar. Okay. No, I feel like if it was. Oh, no. Okay, yeah. It's like more it of was, an uproar. Yeah. Like, oh, my God. Alien, like, all over the, like, just everywhere. I really haven't seen it other than it's, like, social media. There's a, there's a, look at this. Oh, you can't see my skirt, my cursor. This is um, a marketing for the movie. This, this is mark. <laughs> this this is marketing for the movie Jewels. Is that is that a thing? Anybody know? Is that a I thing? I don't know. I don't. I don't know. You got me. I wouldn't doubt it though. It probably is for some movie. Hmm. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Debunked, debunked. All right, still creepy. I'm glad we, yeah, still pretty. Yeah, creepy, it, but. it still, it looks like kind of animated. 
right when when she's moving mm-hmm. or he or she um okay because it's a it's i an love <laughs> i love alien movies but this looks like a it's creepy oh we're we're gonna adopt this alien i'm looking at the screen yeah. caps of this movie it looks very like a wholesome movie look at this picture normalizing oh <laughs> uh, they're just ha 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 and then look at the you know the the movie cover this lady's super happy um <laughs> It's all heartfelt. <laughs> she's got some. Looks like she's got some crappy uh, toast there. Looks like some <laughs> crappy toast. Yeah, I'll pass. All right, next one. All right, so debunked stupid alien lady. All right, let's continue on our spooky. And I saw this earlier in the week. I can't decide in my brain what the hell it is. But here, here, we, maybe you guys can. What about now? Now I hear it. Uh, okay. Yes. I don't like this place already. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> what was it? I don't know. If ah! looked at it. The water's moving. Dude, there's ripples in the water. Water's moving. Oh, shouldn't be anybody there. Ah! Why would? You're up. Oh, that's a shadow. Oh, my God. Look, look at this. Why? No. This guy's full on antagonizing the ghost. Uh uh-uh, uh, why would you do that? It's like Zach Bagans on crack. Yeah, seriously. You see that? Oh! Oh! oh. 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 You, it laughed. It laughed? Yeah. I didn't hear that. It's gone. Oh. Lee, why are you still staying there? Staying there? Huh? Oh, Steven, look. look up. Look up, Steven. No, I don't want to. No, 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 no. Oh, what? Did he throw what? that or? I don't know. Why isn't he leaving? <laughs> He's like in awe. What? Is that him? Yeah. Did you say what are you what are you doing? <laughs> what was it? Oh my god. I, I seen it, but like, what? I couldn't really tell. I don't know. It was moving very slowly, dude. This guy. Oh. Can you guys. No, I'm good. I don't, I don't want to watch yeah, it. Yeah, I don't really don't watch that again. That was kind of creepy. And, mm. Just because it's. Where, where is that at? Like Japan or. I had something. I'm sorry. I don't. All right, I have, I have one more screw, scoopy, <laughs> spooky. I have scroopy? one more spooky video, and then we can move. Actually, two, and then we can try to move on to something lighthearted. Okay. Uh, here we go. No. Why? What do you think? 
Was that real, authentic, or is he fucking around? It's just creepy. I don't know. I think it's creepy. It's I think probably it's, messing I, around, but I think it it it's borderlines. Uh, the first time I saw the video, I was very much like, uh, it's yeah, um, it's. First, I thought that was fake, and then, but then when he puts the cross, when he puts the cross on his forehead, his his face kind of, it kind of morphs. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you guys noticed that. Yeah, I saw. I don't want to see it again. Nope. <laughs> yeah, no. Like what? Like stiffens up? Yeah. Like he's dying or something? No, it just like it changes. Changes. It's like it's like it looks like something's it's, trying to come yeah. out of his face. I play the next okay. one. I have one other. Spooky. No, one. you said that the last one. <laughs> I have one. No, I, have one I don't one. like. I don't know what that is. I don't like it. Uh huh. 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 Uh Dude, that's weird. I can't even explain this. I don't so people are saying it's a duende. Anybody that knows, doesn't know Spanish, duende means uh, gnome, right? Is that gnome? Mm-hmm. Duende is a gnome? Okay. Supposedly this is a gnome. Uh, I don't know why they said elf, but... That little furry thing? I Dude, I can't explain that. Can you? Looks like a bird, but without wings. <laughs> <laughs> with a With a wig on? I don't. I can't. What the hell? That was, you Send didn't hear the audio? Me. You heard the audio? Weird. Yeah, I heard it. It was kind of weird, but it kind of does sound like maybe like a weird animal. I don't know. So it kind of sounds like a bird with like a dog. It's like, but it's like I kind of like it. Look at the. You kind of like it. What is your glitch? Uh, that I, I don't know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that Ooh, funny. Little, I don't know about you guys. Could... I feel like my life force is down here right now with everything you've been I talking about. I don't think that thing could do any harm. Let's it, it's, it's go to the funny you know who? You know who could do harm to your business? If you, if you sell food... And your food is crappy. You know who could do harm to it? Hey, this man. Wayne. Barbecue, and apparently it's rated the number three <laughs> best barbecue spot by Texas Monthly here in the entire state of Texas. And first things first, we got the three meat plate. This is our hero. Man, this looks absolutely oh, there we beautiful. Go. Big time Starting hero. Off, we got the beef brisket. This is a fatty brisket. Oh, Look oh, how oh, beautiful this oh, is. Oh, so oh, the Listen to it. Off. That's how tender it is. <sighs> Damn. Damn. Just the right amount of fatty to so stay was leaning <laughs> together. All the juices working and oh. marinating with each other. Oh man! You need some the like there, or what? This one looks like a oh man. Oh, <laughs> oh damn! Oh, wow, it literally just damn. falls off the bone. Did you he... see that? Like immediately when you take a bite, something happens. Get a nice peppery <laughs> kick. I feel like there's a little bit of vinegar in here. I'm not sure, but there's also a hint of sweetness. Something <laughs> ooey gooey happens. Something ooey gooey. Dude, let's do that one more time. One more time. One more time. One more time. And apparently it's rated the number three best barbecue spot by Texas Monthly here in the entire state of Texas. And first things first, we got the three <laughs> meat plate. And oh man, this is <laughs> absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Starting off, we got the beef brisket. This is a fatty brisket. Look at how beautiful this is. It literally falls apart. You can just pull it off. That's how tender it is. <sighs> <laughs> Just the right amount of fatty sensations with lean meat mixed together, all the juices working and marinating. Oh, man. Next up, we got the pork. We got this one. Looks like, oh, we man. got a. We got a. Oh, uh, shit. Uh, we got to get that sound bite on, on here for our show. For the show. But that came from the bottom of his stomach. Yeah, that was like full on. Yeah. He felt it. All right, so the one to the left of him, Sergio. It smacked him. <laughs> Damn. All right, here, all right, check it out. <laughs> like I, I want to. 
fucked up his his dick. I have no idea what's going on there. What country Dude, that is? This guy was full on. I'm going. I'm gonna make a TikTok. And this other dude just crawl past him. He has nothing, no idea. Look, look, watch. (laughs) (laughs) This one, he rolls his eyes like. (laughs) The guy doing the TikTok is like, oh my God, I got to do this again. (laughs) Oh, okay. And you said this one? Yeah, that one, that one, that one. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, I love this video. <laughs> I see it. The guy, he's like, oh, 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 oh my God! That you fool know what, is. I have to say, oh. I have to say, he plays in the Los Angeles shot box. Shot box. <laughs> he plays in the Los Angeles Pookies. <laughs> Los Angeles Pookie League. Jesus. The Pookie League. Dude. <laughs> oh. I, I, have, I have to say this, you know, about his form, he didn't have a good follow through. He would have made, he would have made oh, it. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> the guy recording is all, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like it, <laughs> and you have the MLB. Oh, uh, the real the fucking piss rocket. <laughs> all right, go search. A dinger. My God. <clears throat> Ooh. Oh man, that was a good laugh. Scary and laugh. Uh, before we go, one more time, one more time, one more time, By one more time. Likely, here in the entire state of Texas, at first things first, <sighs> a three meat plate, and oh man, this looks absolutely beautiful. Starting off, we got the beef brisket. This is a fatty brisket. Look at how beautiful this is. Literally, fall the part you can just pull it off. That's how tender it is. <sighs> <laughs> just the right amount of fatty sensations with lean meat mixed together all the all right we're gonna put that on the soundboard all right when michael gets back i'm gonna make him do it Woo! all right that was a good episode even though there's only three of us still we still have good stories i think it's a good spot we're about almost on time but i think it's a good spot to end the podcast <clears throat> anybody watching or listening make sure that you're following on all of our socials we just started a Twitter account. Steven hasn't done crap on it yet, but he'll get on it as soon as he can. Uh, <clears throat> Maybe not. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Make sure you're following us on Twitter. On uh, Well, it's called X now, right? Yeah, on X. X. It, on e, on X. <clears throat> on X. 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 Make sure you're following us on X. Make sure you're following us on Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> on Spotify for all the streaming uh, of our podcasts, including uh, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, uh, Google Play, you name it. We're on all of them. Just make sure you, you listen there. Or more importantly, head on over to YouTube. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you subscribe. Subscribe. We see you guys. You guys watch, but you don't subscribe. Damn it. Just do it promise we're gonna have good stuff moving forward we're we're gonna have great stuff i promise uh make sure you leave a like comment subscribe here on youtube uh just stay tuned we'll be back on the next episode we'll have a bunch of gaming videos on youtube thank you for watching listening that's ethan steven aka aka team dilin team dilin dilin. (laughs) <laughs> and I am Sergio. I am not, but Team Deline is a Marijuana. Marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> we'll catch you guys on the on the next one. Later. Bye guys. Late. Thank you.